All right guys, today I got another install vid for you and I'm really excited about this one. It's the TNH Marine Shock Lock. This is a super duty, super reinforced, not gonna shift sonar GPS mount. Um, there's no ball joints involved with this guy. This guy is solid, yet she adjusts 360 degrees. You can adjust it any way you like, but she's never gonna slip on you. You're never gonna have that situation where you hit that three footer and your GPS or your sonar just shifts like three inches. That's not gonna happen here. So we're gonna install this. Normally, a lot of guys are gonna be putting it on their dash. I'm actually gonna be putting it on the bow of the boat for my unit, because um, that's the one that's getting bounced around the most. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, run through the steps. She's real simple, real quick, and it's gonna save you a ton of loot in the end, because frankly, when it comes down to it, what's probably the most expensive accessory you have on your boat? That's gonna be your electronics, so you gotta take the most care of them. So let's get this thing rolling. TH Marine, shock lock. All right guys, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take the base out of the shock lock. The base is real heavy duty. Um, everybody's gonna be using different hardware. I'm gonna be mounting it in the, in the bow of the boat. Depending on where you're mounting it, you're gonna need different hardware to accommodate the various lengths or the thicknesses that you're going through. Um, the recommended hardware is a number 12 3 inch screw. That's what I got right here. Basically, you're going to want to keep in mind that the base is fairly thick. It's about an inch and a half thick. So you're going to want to accommodate your hardware with both the base and then wherever you're mounting it in the boat. So just keep that in mind. She's awfully thick, so you're going to need a little extra leeway to get on through there. What you're going to do firstly though, you want to identify there's a small indentation on the base of the shock lock. That's where your wire is going to come up through. As you can see, I had my old mount right here, and I already have a hole drilled in the front of the hull here, or the front of the deck, to bring the wire out. So what I want to do is just line the base up so that wire comes right on through. She's got full mobility, can move it on around. And I'm just going to line it up, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drill three starter holes to drop these screws through so we can go ahead and screw this base down. So let's get this thing started. So the best way to do this is to go ahead and drill one hole. Um, that'll get you kind of lined up, and then drop your screw through it kind of get the mount set up and then you can drill your next hole follow up and kind of just work that screw in sometimes it takes a little bit to kind of push her on through but that way you're lining yourself up and you're not going to have to readjust and drill extra holes through whatever kind of mount or whatever you're mounting the the base there so I'm going to go ahead and um, get this last one through and then we'll go ahead and put the hardware on the back end of it All right, so I got my screws through, they're drilled, dropped on through. Now what we're gonna be doing, and this is pretty simple, I mean, it's not too complex, but I just wanna run through it so that we're all on the same page. Um, I got my nuts right here, all gathered together. Um, I'm also gonna be running washers, as well as lock washers on there, um, just to make sure that there isn't any shifting or any movement, you know, because of banging around and that. Um, Mine's going to be a little tricky and I think for the most part all, all the mounts are going to be kind of tricky because you're usually going to be either going under your dash or under some kind of cockpit or something along those lines. Um, but it just takes a little bit of patience, a little bit of time. So you're just going to run just a washer, a lock washer, and your nut. And go ahead and tighten those down on there and uh, we're almost set to go. A few sheet metal cuts later, we got this thing tightened down. I don't have her fully tightened down. You gotta get out some wrenches and kind of run through the back end and then crank her down. But we'll do that once we get through these final steps. Now we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna mount 
the mounting bracket pretty much. And this is what really makes the shock lock so, so beefy and so strong. As I mentioned earlier, there's no ball joints or anything like that involved. Everything is oriented with pin locks. Um, basically, you'll have a hex screw and then you'll loosen that hex screw and you have adjustability depending on where you drop those pins on in. And that's really why she isn't gonna go anywhere because it's all metal all the way through. So it's not gonna shift, it's not gonna slip, and it really isn't even gonna shake. I mean, you're not, you can hit a three footer and the mount may sway for a second, but there's gonna be no shift and no adjustment that you'll have to make after you hit that wave. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mount it straight up right now. I'm gonna tighten that hex screw down. And in order to mount it, all you need to do is draw out, there's a small pin, it's a spring-loaded pin. You're going to draw out that pin, look for the hole on the side of the, I guess you'd call this the, um, the main bracket. Drop that in and let it slide on in. Now, this pin, the spring-loaded pin, is also threaded. So when you know where you have your things mounted and you're good to go, you go ahead and you screw that in until she's snug. And that will give you, I gotta crank it down yet a little bit, but that'll give you the solid mount and then she's screwed on down so you don't have to worry about any kind of ejection or anything along those lines when you're driving around. All right, so I tightened down the mount so she's not shifting anymore. I got my main, my main arm all tightened down. The last thing you're gonna need to do is go ahead and, and mount the mounting bracket. The mounting bracket comes with an array of layouts. Um, it should fit just about any unit. Uh, so basically I would actually put this on before you go ahead and put your unit on, kind of get it all lined up and then you can go ahead and mount your unit on here. So to mount the mounting bracket, once again, it's, it's a pin oriented type swivel. So we're just going to locate the two pins on the arm, kind of line it up how we like. I'm going to kind of have mine at an angle like that so I can look down at it. And then you're going to take once again, there's another hex screw, and then go ahead and other side, bring it right through there and thread it on in. And we're good to go there. Then the other thing that you can do is there is another pin swivel on the actual mounting bracket. And um, obviously I don't want it at like a 45 like that. It's gonna be a little hard to read. So I'm gonna loosen that thing up and just kinda straighten it just a, a hair there that's probably perfect so I don't want it too too straight there and we're good to go she's on there she's tightened on down and uh, now you just got to get your uh, your unit on um, with the unit once again it's going to be the same type of setup you're going to want to use basically nuts as well as washers and lock nuts um, to go ahead and get her get her tightened on down there but she's pretty much good to go um, you got your wire all set to go and uh, we're solid no more bouncing around no more jacking up your electronics because of waves or having that kind of shift issue that oftentimes ram mounts run into um, we're going to be solid we're going to be viewing it in the same way whenever we like and there's a lot of mobility to it as well but she's going to stay solid no matter how you shift it so that's the tnh marine shock lock solid mount for your electronics usually one of the most expensive aspects of your boat and uh we're good to go i'm ready to uh get tied up and get fishing so tight lines guys i hope you dug it and uh get yourself a shock lock they're available at boat tech